Water and waste from the toilet takes quite a journey before it's reintroduced into the natural water cycle. You should only flush toilet paper and not waste down the toilet. But lots of people flush things that you shouldn't, like cotton buds and nappies. The water from your shower, bath and sinks combine here in this pipe and flow together into the sewer. The main sewer is a much larger pipe, normally located beneath the road. And it is here where all neighbouring houses' waste join together and is transported to a sewage treatment facility. Sometimes, the amount of things that are wrongly flushed or poured down a sink causes problems, as fatbergs form that eventually block sewers. Here in the first stage of the cleaning process, solids are removed settling to the bottom of large tanks. That's whether it's natural waste or items that have been incorrectly added to the water system. Here, at stage 2 of the cleaning process, good bacteria is used to eat away at smaller particles that might be contaminating the water. The final stage of the process takes place in a settlement tank where the bacteria is separated from the water and stays at the bottom, while the clean water flows over the top and back to the streams and rivers. The newly cleaned water is reintroduced into the natural water cycle, where it is added to the streams and rivers. If the water isn't cleaned properly, it can destroy a long line of ecosystems that stem from our streams and rivers. The rivers that the water is reintroduced to eventually flows into the ocean. And it is here where the water is more likely to evaporate and start the process of the water cycle again.